Uh, hey, hi, uh, hello, uh, welcome back. Hi! <laughs> welcome back to another episode of the podcast. Uh, episode number five, uh, uh, as you guys would know, I uh, took a bit of a break. I uh, went on a bit of a road trip with uh, Steph and my family. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, so this is probably going to be more of like a life update type podcast. Uh, still going to have some little things, you know, that are relevant to what the other podcasts I have spoken about. But this is more just of a podcast that's just going to be about myself and Steph and what we've been up to for the last two or three weeks and, you know, looking forward to our summer and what we have planned for that. But uh, to start things off, uh, yeah, uh, we did just have a two-week road trip uh, and we did like, you know, the basic bitch uh, road trip of Canada, hit all the hot spots. Uh, my dad and my stepmom from Australia did come over uh, and they were like, hey, well, yo, Steph, Mitch, uh, you're going to be tour guide Barbie. And uh, so we, so we did. Uh, tour guide Barbie. Yeah, it's big time, out. big time tour guide Barbie. Uh, to start things off, uh, we, uh, myself and Steph caught the bus down to uh, Vancouver from Whistler because uh, it's, it's dirt cheap and it's, it's really easy to do. Yeah, thir- we live. like thirty-five dollars for us to get both of us to get down and back. So that's seventy dollars. If we would have drive down, fuel, parking, parking for the two weeks or more. Yeah, honestly, that bus trip. What is it? It's like what is it? What's it called? Oh, Epic Rides. Epic Rides. Yeah. Uh, yeah if you have are traveling to Whistler, Epic Rides is a good time to get yourself from Vancouver up here. So yeah, so yeah, so we started there, met our parents in uh, Vancouver, and then we got on the old uh, the old ferry to uh, Victoria, Vancouver Island. Um, do you know what? Uh, it's gonna sound really dumb, but hey, I am dumb. Uh, I thought Vancouver Island was small. Yeah. I thought it was like I, I didn't think it was like holy shit, this is like a proper place. Like okay, I didn't think it was small, but I also never thought about it to realize how big it actually was. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like, I didn't yeah. assume it was a small island, but I definitely wasn't aware that there was lots of tiny little islands around Vancouver Island, which are all considered the island. I also <laughs> didn't realise that Victoria itself was like a full-blown, like, city with, like, shit going on. I had... Yeah, to be honest, it kind of looks, like, reminds me of Sydney when you go into, like, um... The Rocks. Yeah, okay. Going to the yeah, Rocks yeah. in Sydney. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that. But The Rocks does have a reason to have an Irish, you know, connection, unlike Victoria, which has a lot, a lot of Irish pubs. And, and every like time you walk in to speak to someone, stores. they're like, I don't know what the connection is. And then I Googled it, and I don't know, the Irish people did sort of settle there, so I guess that's sort of where the connection is. I know, but it's really weird. I'm like, there's an Irish fabric store. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Is it though? Whatever, yeah. well, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess like the main attraction for us to going to Vancouver Island uh, was to go, you know, while watching, see the, the wild killer whales. Uh, mm-hmm. Never seen them before. Also, uh, probably will never see them again. Yeah. Uh, so we spent, uh, what, spent two... Three, we spent two nights in Victoria and then we actually went to Nanaimo, which is our favourite place afterwards. Yeah, Nanaimo was a cool little town full of druggos. Cool. It was kind of creepy. Very creepy. Um, <laughs> but I saw sea otters. We did otters. see some sea otters. Yes. That's something else we haven't seen before. We didn't get out to Tofino. Um, I feel like when everyone, anyone ever talks to me about like Vancouver Victoria, Island. They always talk about Tofino. Yeah. Um, because it's the only place you can surf. Yeah. If I'm yeah. Correct. Yeah, I think that's yeah. correct. Uh, but we didn't get out of there, uh, so you know, maybe I don't know. I probably won't go back. Yeah, to either. Be yeah, not really, not really our jam. Uh, you know what? I've seen the ocean. There's plenty of it in Australia, and I'm probably not gonna catch a ferry to go hang out at Tofino to go to a beach. Keeping it real. Very fair. Very probably fair. Not. I'm here for the mountains. Also very fair. But to go back on what I was just first talking about, uh, the whale watching tour. Uh, do you know what? I was pretty skeptical. Like it was what a hundred and. I think it's like $130 each. 130 dollars a head, and then like the trip can go from three to four hours, and I'm sitting there going, well, yeah, it was what? was four plus. It was longer than four. Yeah, it was, it was long. So long. I, I, me personally, like my stepmom gal was like super, like she was so keen, and I was like, well, you know, I'm all, come all this way, may as well do it as well. I get seasick, um, not exactly the greatest with that stuff, and then... Yeah, like the ginger yeah. chewy things. Which actually worked so much better than any other seasick tablet I've ever taken. Those ginger lollies were, like, can recommend 10 out of 10, get the ginger lollies, they're so much better than the tablets. But, it was worth it. Yeah, it was worth you it. were fine. It was worth it. No, 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 like, talk about me, but like, the actual whole thing itself. Oh yeah, no, actually, it's pretty freaking cool seeing killer whales. Like... And then just hearing about how like intelligent 
the killer whale actually is, that half of its brain only sleeps at one time, so it can actively still be awake and not die. Yes, because it has to keep swimming permanently. Oh, that's ridiculous. I know. Very interesting. I had no idea. They're never fully asleep, ever. Yeah. They'll always be half awake. It's kind of is half resting and swimming at the same time. That was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And also, um, I'll, uh, I'll chuck uh, photos up throughout this whole podcast of just things I took over the time. Uh, so you guys can see what I got. Yeah, um, on the animal spotto list. Yes, because we had uh, we had an animal spotto list. So mm-hmm. on that spotto list, there was uh, killer whales, a beaver, bears, moose, and a chipmunk. Or was it a squirrel? What is she? Chipmunk. It was a chipmunk. chipmunk. Yeah. And then I think that was it. Oh no, no, we didn't say that. Elk was a wild card. But we, we did say anyway. a lot of that, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, the um, the whale watching tour was great. Uh, I, d- I definitely paid the money again. Uh, unfortunately, the whales didn't breach, which would have been awesome. But they did, you know, come up pretty close like to the boat. There was like seven or eight of them, which yeah. just said it was two pods. Yeah, two, two pods, pods together, which yeah. is really uncommon to yeah. see. So we were kind of lucky in the fact that even though they didn't breach, there was so many of them, yeah. which was really cool to see. I took eight hundred photos. Fuck me, that was the worst time editing. Do you know what the worst part was? We got there and I was just so excited. It was like, holy fuck, it's killer whales. And like, that was so far away. I had my zoom lens on and I was going crazy. And then like, throughout the hour and 15 minutes that we sat there and just watched them, they slowly got closer and closer and closer until like the very end when I got my better shots and they were so bloody close. And I remember just going back on the boat, looking at him, and I was like, "Oh my god, I took 800 photos, and I lit, and I, and I only, I've only used, and I only kept 10." No, but it's hard. That's what you can do, like, man. They come out of the water um, for like five minutes at a time, and then yeah. they submerge back into the water for five minutes, and you have no idea what the frick they are again. Yeah. And then once they start submerging, you're allowed to move the boat. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Every boat it's was like 100 stuff. meters, 200 meters, I can't remember which one it was, yeah. like distance from the killer whales. So like every time they submerged, yeah. you actually had no idea where they were going. So they yeah. could have either gone further away from you or accidentally come really close to you, which would be awesome. And yeah. it did actually happen once. Yeah, so it was super cool. Super yeah. dope, super dope. So anyway, that was uh, Victoria Island. Uh, after that, uh, we got back on another ferry, made our way up here to our yeah. wonderful home here at Whistler. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, we did the cliche whistler things. We took him to the train wreck, the suspension bridge. Mm-hmm. Um, what else did we do? I, I don't know, it rained. The weather was miserable. Yeah, visual. weather wasn't the greatest, but we still, like, you know, we pushed through. It was fun. They enjoyed it. They had a good time. Uh, oh, brandy wine falls. Brandy wine. That's it. Yeah, that's the other one. You know, the cliche stuff of whistler. You know, but it was... Quick um, and easy. Smash it out in a day. Yeah. Well, we only did have... A day. Yeah. So, we did exactly that. We pumped as much as we could. Obviously, like, a tour of the village. Uh, the, the Peak to Peak hadn't opened yet. Oh no, the Peak to Peak was open, but it was but raining. it was like raining yeah. and overcast and it would be such a waste of money to go up there and see nothing. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah. But anyway, that, like, they still enjoyed this I, I, I wish we'd had a more little bit time. more time, yeah. I agree. Um, but anyway, so, uh, from there, uh... Onwards and upwards, we yeah. went to, back to Big White to show them where we lived previously. Yeah, and it snowed. it snowed. So that was another tick for Gail. Uh, she'd never seen snow actually fall. Uh, we had gone, we like, a few years ago, we all went to the snow together as a family, like myself, Steph, Gail, Riley, and Quinn. Yeah, we went to the uh, rainbow. But, but it um, didn't snow. snow. So yeah. she saw us over Chet and seen snowfall, which was really crazy because here at Whistler, we've had so much hot weather to drive up to back to the Big White. Mm. So and it was like again. minus four and snowing. I was just like, what the hell is going on? And it was full fat flakes too. Yeah, like, it, it was wasn't a yeah. proper dusting. Yeah. And Gail was like, this is so nice. She woke up yeah. in the morning, all these little snowflakes are falling. Yeah. Big shout outs to uh, Doug. I know he doesn't watch my watch this oh, podcast, Dougie. but he did let us stay in his uh, the upper levels of our place, which are his apartment, thank which you. are just beautiful. Uh, so maybe if Liam's watching, you can tell his dad that I uh, said thank you. Um, but yeah, so uh, from there, Whist- uh, sorry, not Whistler, from uh, Kelowna, we went straight to Banff. Good old Banff. Banff. Oh, we did stop at Gravelstoke, and my dad did complain about not going oh, to yeah. uh, the train station museums. Uh, you know. Low key for the people who do know me quite well, like uh, my electrical company back home, we do build train stations. My dad does love trains. Trains. Uh, yeah, love train, trains. Train. Canada has a lot of trains too, so we did see those. Yes, the Rocky Mountain train. Yeah, no, yeah, big time, big time. But yeah, so Banff. Um, you know, if you, for those who don't know, Banff is one of the most, like, if not the most hot spot travel hot spot travel <laughs> destination, there we Pretty go. Pretty much the place that everyone goes in, in summer. Canada yeah. in summer is Banff. Yeah, um, yeah, we got, we snagged it, 
we like we're on the very edge or like the very brink before it goes crazy. Like summer starts. It's already crazy. I can't imagine how bad it's gonna be in summer. I, know, I would hate to live there. Just FYI, that would suck. I don't like. I, I think honestly, Whistler's gonna be bad here, but like, it's just no, but, because like, it's so just spread. From yeah, and like, it's so spread out. Banff is just like one fucking street. Yeah, and it's so congested. Mm. But you know, so uh, Banff obviously has multiple, multiple uh, beautiful places to go see. Uh, on the drive up, we got in. We didn't get in like super late. What did we go? Oh, we went and stopped and saw the wolves first. That's why. Yes, the yeah. wolves in golden. Yeah, so yeah. beautiful. Uh, if you guys ever do. Spot oil list. Yeah. Oh, that was on the other one. It was a spot oil list. It was on the yes. wolves. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do ever, you know, plan a trip to Canada on a road trip, definitely the wolves are golden. Uh, if, you're, if you're smart with your money and you actually really want a good up close experience, you can book. Photography um, tours. Yeah, so yeah. pretty much you go out with the wolves in the morning, uh, they take photos, you get to play with them. Play and with stuff. them, yeah, that kind of stuff. These aren't wild wolves by any means, they are domesticated wolves that have been. They have been imprinted by humans, so yeah. they, they're, 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 they're the movie yeah, yeah, they're, mo they're the movie wolves, but they're still beautiful creatures. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what's that place called again? Yeah, wild um, Northern Lives Wildlife Center? Yeah, I'll, I'll drop a link to the thing wolf in the bottom. Yeah, Center. I'll chuck their stuff down below. Um, but yeah, so we did that first, and because of driving from BC to Alberta, you do lose an hour. So, I don't know what time we left uh, Kelowna that morning, but anyway, whatever, it worked out perfectly so, so well. Because uh, we ended up being at Moraine Lake, which is the lake that myself and Stephanie have tried to go to four years. Like, it's, it's been four long years. First time, first time we tried to go, I broke my collarbone in Whistler two weeks before we had a chance to. Uh, and then the next three opportunities we've been it's like, like, I mean, like too early or like too late. So we've yeah. come to Canada to do winter seasons. Yeah. And where we like when we've driven past to go, it's been snowing, so the roads have been closed. Yeah. So they've been like, okay, well that's more rain, like done. Yeah. And that's exactly the time that we've gone. Like we even drove past the signs that it was open, and we're like, okay, cool, like we're really tired right now. We'll get up first thing tomorrow morning, and we're gonna go and take that damn and lake out. Yeah. And then. Closed, closed that day. Closed for the season. Yeah, missed it, miss it by a day. But this time, you better freaking believe we did not miss it. And oh my god, it is the best place in the world. It is beautiful. I have never been just so chilled from like how beautiful Mother Nature can be because it is the most stunning thing I've ever had a chance to like look at, take photos of. Oh man, I could have, I could have spent hours there. Uh, we stayed there, we were there for a long time, but I, I could have just, mm. I could have stayed longer. Mm -hmm. I could have just sit there. Yeah. All day. I definitely want to do like another trip back up that way before we leave, if we leave. Mm. Uh, just purely because of how beautiful it is. But yeah, so like, <laughs> like, yeah, it's here if it's open. So yeah, so we did Lake Maureen, then we uh, headed back into the village and, uh, you know, set up in our, uh, our place and um, it was quite nice, you know, nice little, little hotel, so. Yeah. Uh, but then the next day we did uh, we did pretty much a tour of Banff. So uh, the gondola yeah, it's first. a sulfur sulfur mountain, the gondola there. Uh, another thing that I was a little bit on the edge with because like it's such a like a hot spot, but man, it is beautiful up there. It is really pretty. Can can turn out a ten recommend. Like it was stunning. Like the the views. We got lucky. It was meant to be pretty cloudy that day, and uh, there was it was partly cloudy, but they were like the right type of clouds you want in your images. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's a big walk up along there and obviously there was a lot of people but you know if you're smart with how you want to take your photos you can make it look like you're the only person there <laughs> so that's obviously my big pro tip whenever you go anywhere just sort of push the boundaries a little bit I'm not telling them, like jump over the freaking rails even though I do do that but yeah, uh, yeah I know <laughs> but you know sort of just like make it a little bit you know like Oh, also, uh, while we're up there on the spotter list, we did see a chipmunk. We did. Uh, so we do. And I'll, it's on I'll, Mitchell's Instagram. Yeah, I'll, I'll chuck in this video too. It'll be up. I'm gonna make it cover my face. Okay. So it's it's right now that video of the chipmunk is covering. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at it. Look at it. So cute. Anyway. Uh, what did you do after that? Oh, we went and did the castle tour. Oh yeah. Fairmont Castle. Yeah, I didn't really. Waste of time. I don't really care to be honest. Yeah, waste of time. Um, waste of time. Cool. What else did we do? Uh, after that, we went down to Lake Mini Wanker. Is yes. That what I say? It has to be. I don't care. The Mini way the way it is the way it is written is Mini Wanker. Okay. So Mini Wanker. Saw a bunch of other lakes. 
around there on the way back into Banff. Can't remember yeah. what they're called. They yeah. all look pretty. They're all yeah. blue and sparkly and yeah. trees and shit. Yeah, just you know, just things to do in Banff. What more pretty like things? Yeah. And then what do we do? Day, the next day we uh, we woke up. It was a bit Johnson of a slower Canyon. day. Yeah, a little slower day. We went into Johnson Canyon. Um, so busy too. Hold actually, crap. hold on. RV we city. hold on. We slept in that day, and we were going to go to Arv we were going to go to Lake Louise. Oh, yeah. I cannot believe how crazy that place is in holiday season. Uh, Summer holiday season. Sorry. Uh, when I'm talking Lake Louise, I don't mean the uh, resort. I mean the actual lake itself. Uh, if you're gonna go, you need to go early. Like you need to go super early. We were we were late that day. We had a bit of a line, but we've been traveling. It's like eleven or something. Yeah, we went That's around just before crazy. lunchtime, and like so they have like an overflow car park, which is probably like a solid five k's away. Yeah. From so they the let actual you place drive itself. all the way up to Lake Louise, like to the car park that is like a hundred meters from the lake, mm. and then they're like, "Lol, Jacks, it's full," directing you back down the highway to the overflow car park, and you're like. Yeah. If I knew this, I would have just turned into the car park when yeah. I drove past it. Yeah. You let me go all the way yeah. there. So, yeah, definitely try to avoid uh, peak periods if you can. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we went and did Johnson Canyon, even that was pretty busy. It was super busy. Yeah, it's still it's still beautiful. Like, it's still pretty cool when you really think about it. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, we saw, uh, we saw a, a male elk. Um, yeah. Steph, sw uh, Steph swore in the car for the first time. She was, uh... Oh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm out of the fucking moose! It wasn't a moose. It wasn't a moose. <laughs> we really loudly. I know. I was really excited for the spotted loose. Not that we don't fucking swear, but... I know, but I feel weird swearing in front of parentals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you're such an angel. I know. If only they knew the real you. I know. Yeah. But anyway, so Johnson Canyon, another beautiful little spot. But, uh, yeah, and then I think after that was just we always went home. Did we? Surely we did something. Uh, I think that was it, Johnson Canyon. Huh. Yeah. Alright. So, next day, the last day... What? No, I, have no, I got nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so our last oh. day, our last day uh, in Banff, we actually spent travelling towards Jasper. Uh, got up nice and early. Uh, we did go to Lake Louise. We got to Lake Louise by eight thirty, and we were already in like the top top level car park. So it fills up quick. Um, I do think this is because obviously there's a lot of tours going on, and then if someone is a keen photographer, sun like sunrise set. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunrise shooting is obviously, you know, optimal, so people do like to get there early. You try to be, you know, the only people there, which is very difficult to do. Uh, you know, honestly, like, it is it is amazing, but, like, the lake down the road, Lake Moraine, just Moraine shits, is all, 10 times better. Yeah, shits all over it. Like, I don't, okay. Yeah. Moving forward, though, Jasper. What happened in Jasper? Well, on, to start, on the road trip there, we saw, like, so many bears. Oh, my God, crazy. we saw, like, four bears, five bears. Four. Four bears? Yeah, four bears. The first one we no, saw... No, five bears. First one we saw was like mama and a baby. Yeah. In a tree. In a fucking tree. So like cute. I'm not talking like a little tree. I'm talking like high up tree. Yeah, it was so cute. This and tree was, didn't look like it could hold two bears. It was very awkward. It was like very skinny looking, and I was like, that bear's pretty fat. Yeah. Probably it's not breaking anything. Well, yeah. it did, yeah. but it didn't fall. She, yeah. She didn't fall. Yeah. And then. That was crazy. You know what the best part about the road trip, like when you do look, when you are looking for wildlife, especially in these like very populated areas by tourists. People just find it for you. So we'll be driving on the highway, uh, the Icefields Pathway. Icefields it's called. Pathway, yeah. Beautiful drive. Can't definitely do that if you are coming over. Um, and like you'll just see like six or seven cars pulled over, and you go, all right, well, something's up here. Someone spotted for you. Which yeah. Is kind of fun. Yeah. So that was the best part, which is like the best and the worst because it means we didn't technically spot anything ourselves, but we did still I, see it. The moose. I mean, it wasn't a moose. I mean, it was an elk. elk. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um, no, okay, the next bear was my favourite though. Oh, yeah. He was so cute. I don't know if it was a he or a she, but it didn't have a baby, so let's just, let's just call it a he, for example. Yeah. And this bear was like, just laying in a giant patch of grass, which was like filled with dandelions, and he was yeah. just like, bouncing around, just eating each little flower as it walked oh, past, yeah. and then he would just lay there and just like, munch a little patch of flowers around him, and I was like, he looks so cute, and I pat him like a dog. Yeah. Obviously, not very cute, but... It was yeah. like a Winnie the Pooh looking thing. It was Mind so you, horrible. these are black pants. Fell grizzlies, we would have definitely. Yeah, I would have not be talking so much. Yeah. About it. Um, it's crazy, like. Like we were in the car, we got out of the car for both time. No, no, sorry, we got out the, we got out of the car, time. we got out of the car when the bear were in the tree and we still kept a pretty safe distance. 
some of these other people that were there they were like push it. very much pushing it. Like, oh, it sort of was like, I think Gal might have got a photo of it. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Because like, I, I'm would, talking, I never would do that. There's a not, line. Yeah, they were way too close. Keep, you know, man, they're trying to do their thing. Let, let them be, let them do it. Get near the bears. No, let the bear do the thing. Oh, uh, yeah, like, no. Yeah. Like, you're in their home. Like, yeah. stop intruding so much. Yeah, big time. Uh, but yeah, then from, from there, we uh, we did, like, the whole, the glacier, which was pretty depressing, really. It was so boring. It was, like, don't get me wrong, like, it was boring, but then just the fact of how much it's, like, melted and, like, it's continuing to disappear, which is, you know, shit, but... Okay, but I did read in the thing that the only reason it was so high mm. when they first started jocking it is because they were having, like, a mini ice age. Yeah. And before that, it was actually shorter, like, where it is. Not as bad as it is now, but it wasn't as high as what it was in that peak period. Yeah, right. That cool. was mini ice age, so that's why it was yeah. up so high. Yeah. But it is really dramatic to see, like, how many, like, hundreds of meters it yeah. has dropped back. Like, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, big time. But then from, uh, yeah, from there, uh, just headed into town. Uh, yeah, you know, like, Jasper's town itself really doesn't intrigue me that much. No, I There's... think it would be different if I was there to go snowboarding at, like, the closest yeah. mountain because that would be something for me to do, but yeah. in terms of, like, the town offering, it's literally, like, a street with a couple of restaurants and then yeah. that's it. Yeah, so, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, we didn't really do too much after that. It was a pretty big drive. Um, it wasn't really a huge drive, but we did stop a lot and do some things. Yeah. What a spot out going on. But, yeah, um... And then what did, we, what did we do the next day? I, oh, we did that yeah. Athabaka, 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 oh, Athabaska Falls? I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Athabaska. Yeah. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's a pretty powerful uh, little waterfall there. And it actually freezes over in winter, which is uh, super dope because... It looks it, super powerful. Like, yeah. Very forceful. Very, very forceful. But yeah. Uh, and then the next day we woke up, uh, headed to... Brian and Ellie went to Caribbean Camp Loops. No, no, you probably going to go to Pyramid Lake first. Yeah, we did the Pyramid Lake and it was really average because the weather was shit. Yeah. And it was full of tourists. And yeah. we were still there early. Yeah. Yeah. So that was boring. But yeah. And then after that, we did head, we did head to Camloops. Man, I, that fucking place is just shit. It's kind of weird. I don't like it. The only, reason we, the only reason we went there is because it's a huge drive from there. Jasper back here. So we like, sort of did a halfway spot. But yeah, Camloops is shit. Even those ski resorts are shit. You know it's not shit though? The cookies they give you at the Hilton. <laughs> Oh, 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 you're saying yeah. you're saying that the Hilton are you rich bitch? Shout out to the Hilton, you get cookies on arrival. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cookies, that's so good. Yeah, they are pretty good actually. But yeah, so we stayed at night. Yeah. <laughs> stayed at night in Camloops, and uh, yeah, it was yeah. It was, but actually, the bar we went to was pretty good. The outdoor bar. Oh yeah. It's so um, funny, the like the whole street. Reeling pig or something. Yeah, something like that. The whole street of like the whole city of Camloops is just like completely dead empty. And you walk into this bar and there's just Raging. so many people. I was like, well. It's kind of like a secret society. It's like you never see anyone go in and everyone's in there. Yeah. You're like, when did they get there? Crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. But yeah, and then I guess the next thing that we did was uh, we woke up the next day and uh, got in the car and. We're back in this crib. <laughs> came, came home. And uh, yeah, I guess now. Back to Wissy Baby, old man over here. Starts work today. I do. Uh, Mr. Orientation after, this evening. After I've uh, finished filming this, uh, I'm going to be uh, heading into my orientation to work as the photographer for Zittrek. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be my first uh, full time gig as a photographer. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty stoked, not going to lie. This is sort of something I've been working for for a while. Uh, you know, uh, can't say I actually loved being an electrician, can't say I overly love. Working in the rental shop as a snowboard supervisor, like don't get me wrong, it's definitely better than being an electrician, but uh, working as a photographer, hopefully, I've never done it before, but hopefully it's uh, the tick in the box for me is something I really want to do. So uh, I think I'm going to find out and uh, I'm going to be finding it out. Woo! So yeah, pretty pretty stoked on that. So um, it'll be interesting. I wonder if I can like, uh, it, it'll be interesting to see how like my day is involved in like maybe I could potentially film like a day in the a day in the life video like on a GoPro or something just have it on my helmet when I go take it. I feel like I could. Yeah, I feel like I could. That could be an interesting video. Oh my god. Zip lining your life away. Yeah. So yeah, I start that today. Uh, Steph starts her job as the VM for showcase on Sunday. Yeah. Cool. So uh, yeah, so that's like the main That's uh, my life update. Yeah. <laughs> that's the main what is it? It's the main shop I guess of Whistler. 
It's like the, the big, the big biggest dog. snowboard shop. Yeah, the big dog. Biggest porch store. Yeah. Porch store. Porch store. Yeah. <laughs> um. I feel like that's a lot I've got to tell you, to be honest. Other than that, I haven't done too much. I'm ready to go in the pool because it's freaking hot. Yeah. And this fireplace is really contradicting what's going on outside. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Well, anyway, guys, I need to, uh, yeah, same thing. I need to go get ready for work. And, uh, but yeah, so, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a little life update. Uh, there'll be more videos, more podcasts coming. Obviously, not every single day. Uh, but yeah, there's still going to be more stuff uploaded on this channel. Uh, but besides that, if you do know a friend or a family member, there we go, saved it, that is looking to go on a holiday to Canada and uh, they want to have a bit of an idea of like the hot spots of what there is to do in the basic biz trip of uh, BC and Alberta, uh, show them this video uh, because, you know, it's going to help them out and they get to look at my ugly mug and her beautiful face. But besides that, uh, peace out, look after yourself, make sure you like and subscribe uh, and go pat some goddamn puppies! puppies. Yeah. Bye!